Hello again, this is Ken Turner from Milford, Ohio. We're going to look at the 12 spies for the children of Israel. It says, what sort of place is it that we're headed for? And we're going to talk about this because out of the 12 spies, you have two names that everybody's familiar with, at least I think. Everybody's familiar with Caleb and Joshua because they came back with positive reviews that we are able to overcome the enemy to take the promised land, the land of Canaan. And here there were 10 other spies. And I'd like to throw a question out there. Does anybody know a name other than Joshua and Caleb of any of the other spies? Because I'll almost guarantee it unless you look it up in your Bible. I don't know of anybody that has memorized the name of the 10 men that gave a bad report. In Jude Deuteronomy 1, 28, it says, what sort of place is it that we're headed for? Our brothers made our courage fail when they said the people are bigger and taller than we are. The cities are great and fortified up to the sky. And finally, we have seen Anakims there, giants in the land. These men were huge giants, probably nine feet tall or more. And here they were brought fear upon the children of Israel, these tw tw 10 of these 12 men. And, and what's interesting to me is the names that were given to these men. Shama is the first one. He was the son of Zokar, and his name means renowned. That's pretty powerful. But yet when he came back with his report, he said, these people are greater than us. They'll destroy us. We're like grasshoppers in their sight. We cannot take the land. But yet he had a name, renowned. Isn't that interesting? And then you got Shabat. It means judge. That would be a person of strength or a person of authority. But yet when he came back to give his report, of the land of Canaan that God had promised them and he would give to the children of Israel, he came back with a bad report. These grasshoppers, they were like for them, we're going to lose. And then you got Engel, the Avenger. Now, you know, talk about the Avengers today, the strength that they have supposedly and all these supernatural powers, but he was considered, his name was Avenger. He was actually a son of Joseph, Issachar and Joseph. Think about this. But yet he came back. He did not have the trust in the Lord. And then you got Pelati. He's a son of Ryu, of the tribe of Benjamin. And his name means delivered. But yet he still couldn't come back with a positive report of that they can take the land. And then you have Gadel. God is my fortune. What kind of name is that? That's awesome. God of my fortune. He was the tribe of Jeb Zebulun. Gadel was the son of Sodi. And here, God is my fortune. But I guarantee you, none of us knew his name. Only way we look in the scripture and we look at it. That's how I looked it up. It wasn't because I knew and had his name memorized. But I can tell you right now, I know Joshua. I know Caleb. Why? Because they were strong men of God that trusted God. They trusted God. And they believed God and they counted God worthy and they trusted him that he would be faithful and give them the land that he promised to give them. And there's the next one. Amel means people of God. He was a son of Asher and Michael. And here you think about this. It, people with these names. And then Sethor was his name was hidden so he could be like a spy as he was going into the land. But yet he failed God by not trusting in God. And then you have Naba. Here is a man of Gad, a son of Micah. And here he had the same thing, the same principles. He did not trust God. And Gaul was, was the son of Gad. He was a tribe of Jad. Gad. It says, Majesty of God was the title of his name. And here we look in verse 6. Of the tribe of Judah, Caleb the son of Jethani. His name means forcible. 
It says, none except Caleb, the son of Jethani, the Kenzite, and Joshua, the son of Nun, for they had wholly followed the Lord. And then it goes on, and you can look at some things about Joshua here, Exodus 24, 13. So Moses rose with his assistant, and Moses went up into the mountain of God. Joshua became this late great leader of Israel. He followed Moses into the mountain of God. He was there with Moses when he went up on the mountain. Why? Because of his faith. Caleb was entrusted with things in Israel as a great leader because he trusted God. These other 10 men died because they did not trust God. They were not obedient to God. They weren't faithful to God. They did not trust him. What's this tell me? Don't follow the crowd. Be a Joshua, be a Caleb, and stand up for God and godly principles and godly things. We can look at all these names and go back through them, but who knows who they are? We don't unless we look in the word of God because they were not great men of God. They were not men of renown. They were not men to be remembered because they did not trust God. They lived by their fear instead of living by trusting fully in God. Amen.